Hey, 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 good morning, everyone. It's Carmina. Happy Friday. Finally, it's Friday. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm so stoked about Friday. This long felt like the longest week ever. So um, today I had, this morning, I had a quite an interesting um, experience and I just want to share it with you because, um, you know, it, it kind of solidified um, what we were talking about yesterday. So yesterday um, I announced that I was going on a 40 pound weight loss journey and I invited you to come with me and something happened this morning that kind of um, tested my commitment, if you would, right? So in case you're just joining me, good morning. And in case we haven't met yet, my name is Carmina Metz and I am a health coach. And um, this morning I, you know, I was getting ready, right? And I looked at my left arm and I noticed that a, a piece of jewelry was missing. It's, it's this bracelet. Um, this bracelet has a very um, significant meaning to me and um, I, went in, I went into a panic, literally. And it's funny because my son Richard came into the room and he could see the look on my face and he's like, what's wrong? And I was like, I lost something. He's like, yeah, I can see like you're pretty distressed about it. And then bless his little heart, he looked on the ground and there it was. Oh my God. So let me tell you the story about this bracelet. So um, uh, a month or so ago, yeah, it was September, um, I took Richard to a camping trip. So it's a yearly thing that um, we do. Well, we, we've been doing it for the past few years. We, we skipped it a couple of years, but anyway, it's, it's doesn't matter to the story. So anyway, we went this year and um, as you can tell, I'm not much of a camping person, all right? But so it's not really camping. It's more like what did, what did was the term glamping? So it's done on a campsite where they host a summer camp for children. It's a huge campus. It's a huge YMCA campus. It's out in the boondocks. Um, you know, there's trails, there's archery, there's, um, there's a lake where you can do boating and at night they have fire camp. It's really a nice experience and I am forever grateful to my friend Tanisha for introducing me and for inviting me um, and encouraging me to come with Richard every year. It's really been a tradition that we've cherished. So anyway, in that camp, what they do, um, they raise money during the, you know, the weekend that we spend there for kids who are disadvantaged and can't afford to come to camp. So, and one of the ways that they do that is that they have auctions, right? So they have auctions, you know, you know, members, the alumni from this camp have been coming for, for years. Like some of them started going to camp when they were like this little bitty and now they're grown adults and they still come to that weekend. They call it alum, alumni weekend. And some of them own businesses and obviously some of them own a jewelry store. And one of the items that they put up for auction was this lovely bracelet. I don't know if you can see the details of it, but it's so pretty. It's like three kinds of gold and love it. Anyway, so I, I went into, um, you know, the, the dining hall where they hold the auction and I saw this. And so the way they do it is that you buy tickets right and you put the tickets in that you want to the on the items that you want to bid in so you put the ticket in the bag and then towards the end of the the weekend you know they do the raffle they just call you know your number hopefully out of the bag and if it's yours you if it's you it wins so um these tickets were obviously more expensive so i really only had two of the tickets, they call them the red tickets, that um, I could bid on the bracelet for. So what I did, you know, I went in there, I saw the bracelet, I really, really, really wanted it. And I was like, oh my God, this is so pretty, right? And I'm like, I only have enough cash for two red tickets, so I'm going to put 
one of them in this bag because my odds are just about the same whether I put one or two. So I put the, 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 the red ticket in this bag, um, in the bag for the bracelets and in something else. And then they had blue tickets which were like really cheap. So I got a bunch of those. So I bid on other stuff that were interesting but I didn't really care for. So long story short, come the, the time for the auction, right? And they're calling numbers. So they start with the blue items first. So now in the blue items, I think I won maybe two of them. Yeah, I think I won two prizes or something, right? And at that point, I'm like, okay, my luck is about to run out. I got two items that I, you know, I bid on. And so, you know, it's not going to happen with the bracelet. So I'm relaxed, right? And then now they move on to the red items. So the red items, remember I had two red tickets? So in a red item, they call one of the items that I had bid on, not the bracelet, but the other one. Lo and behold, there it is. I won. I'm like, this is unreal. Like, what's going on tonight? I'm like, okay, two out of three. I got three. So that's it. My luck is completely run out now, right? And then, as you can guess, since I have the bracelet, yes, they called the third one. Um, and I won the bracelet. This was an unbe unbelievable night for me. Do you know why it was unbelievable? Because I had... <laughs> And it's going to sound woo-woo, and I really don't really believe in those things. But I had desired that thing so much that I felt that I manifested my luck that day. I felt I manifested it. Hi, Carla. Good morning. And so this bracelet become, became a symbol for me of the things in my life that I could manifest, that I could get if I manifested them. Um, again, not in a woo-woo way, but in the sense that I desire something, I put my mind into it, and I can manifest it. So I felt like, hey, if I can manifest luck, this is pure luck, you guys, pure luck. If I can manifest luck, what else in my life that I have control over can I truly manifest, right? And this is why this bracelet is, is important for, to, to me because on that weekend, when I had this experience of manifesting something I really wanted, I started thinking, well, what can I manifest that I actually have control over? And for me, it was the 40 pound, right? So in my mind this weekend, I made the decision, you know what? I could stand to lose 40 pounds and I'm gonna manifest it. And this bracelet is going to be the reminder to myself throughout this journey that I can do it. I'm manifesting it. So, you know, oftentimes when we start, you know, especially in the weight loss, right? You know, I talk to a lot of people and, you know, a lot of times we're like, yeah, I should lose weight, but it's not really a thing. It's not really a desire. It's just something that we feel we should do because either we have family and friends who are reminding us, right, that, hey, you should really lose some weight. Like, shut up. But anyway, right? Or it's just because, you know, nowadays it's such a, a, an ever, ever present thought in everybody's mind about being healthy, being healthy, and being healthy that you might feel, yeah, I should lose weight. But it's not really something that you really, really want, right? And one of the things that you're going to come against, right, is that it's going to just stay that little thought in the back of your head that's bogging you, but you're not really doing anything about it, right? You're going to feel guilty about it, but not do anything about it. And for me, you know, everything starts with a decision, right? A decision to get something a decision to become someone or to, to, to be different. Whatever it is, it has to start with a decision. If it's just a thought, don't kid yourself. You have not made, made a decision. If it's just bugging you because, you know, in general, you know, you should be healthier, you should be exercising, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. Until you've made the decision, until you have a desire and you've made the decision, personally, I think you're just wasting your time. So um, in my 40-pound weight loss journey, 
Um, my plan is to do what I preach to my clients day in and day out, and is that I'm going to stack my healthy habits. That's what I'm doing. I am not planning on, on cutting carbs or, you know, banning cake. You know, I can't live in a world that does not, where I'm not allowed to eat cake. It's just not worth living, okay? I'm just putting it out there. Um, everything in moderation, but not, you know, um, not making myself suffer through the process. I've tried that for years. It doesn't work, right? What worked for me in the past was just that you know, adapt, adopting habits, embracing healthy habits that I can stick to, to in the long run, right? Focusing on that and forgetting about the scale, right? Because 40 pounds is nothing but a thing, girl. All right, we got this. We, it's, it's handled, right? I know a lot of things are going to come in the way in my, um, they're going to come in, my dis in the way of my decision to get healthier, and that's okay. That's okay. I can do it. You can do it. Um, we got this. It's nothing but a thing. All right. So um, I'm working on a, a, a um, on an ebook um, about ditching the diet mentality because um, that's what has personally kept me um, in a, um, a, the yo-yo daily cycle for years. I broke out of it and um, I hope you will too and so I hope that this ebook with will help you um, frame or reframe your 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 mentality the way you view weight loss and it really gives you tools to go at it the right way right so anyway it's not ready yet I'm still working on it but I will definitely let you know when um, it's out all right, so you guys have a great day. Enjoy your Friday, and let's do this thing. It's nothing but a thing. One healthy habit away. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.